Welcome back. The North Dakota State football team sits at a perfect 8-0 after last week's 30-14 win over Northern Iowa. Also, they own sole possession of first place in the Missouri Valley heading into this famed Dakota Marker week. So to talk all things Bison football and Dakota Marker, here's Brian Sean with Tyler Roll in Fargo. Kelly, thank you so much. We are joined by the tight ends and fullbacks coach at North Dakota State, and that is Tyler Roll, who actually played here for the Bison as our standout running back from 2004 to 2008. Tyler, thank you for uh, joining us in studio, and I, I'm just looking back at actually some old highlights of you when you're running the football. It's been almost 10 years since you put the pads on. Does it feel like it's been that long to you? Yeah, you know, it's, it's unbelievable to look back and think, you know, gosh, it's been 10 years, and um, just a week ago, someone sent me a message. It was 10 years ago from the Minnesota game, you know, and it's, it's crazy how fast it, it's, it's flown by, but you look back at the memories and all the good memories, and um, it, it, was, it was a special time in my life. And really a special time in the Bison program as well when you guys were making that transition to D1, had a lot of success during those years. This is your fourth season now coaching the tight ends and fullbacks in North Dakota State. When Tim Polisek came back, you decided to come back from the high school game uh, to coach this group. This is a fun group to coach here, yeah. isn't it? Because you guys use tight ends and fullbacks really well. Not a lot of teams really utilize them anymore. Right. You know, and you look at what we do offensively, whether it's 22 personal, 21 personal, 12, shift trade motion, there's a lot of things that those guys need to handle. Um, and whether it's in the run game, the pass game, you name it, they, they've got to know if they're front side, back side, zone scheme, gap scheme, who their, who their uh, assignment is and the communication with the O-line. And There's a lot of things that they need to do, but it, it's actually it's probably one of the most difficult positions to learn, uh, I think, on our team. You know, so you got to have kids that are, you know, understand football and can, can understand uh, the game. Um, so it's, you know, as a teacher, I think, you know, it, that's a big challenge on uh, myself, you know, playing, not playing the position, the tight end position, though I played fullback er, early in my career. But you look at, you know, as a teacher, you really need to be able to teach the ins and outs of the position, um, which can be difficult at, at times. So uh, it's a fun challenge, and you got to have kids that can understand the game. And that's a big key, obviously. you got to make sure you're recruiting the right kids. Right. Speaking of which... <laughs> Uh, the tight ends and fullbacks have had unbelievable production. Four different guys in the tight end group alone has caught touchdowns. Yep. Two of those guys are small town local products with yep. a guy like Jeff Ilias and Ben Ellison. Yep. I'm guessing you take extra pride in watching those guys succeed making the transition from small town football to D1 football here. Yeah, you know it's neat. Um, you look at Jeff Ilias, a kid who, was, who redshirted when I got there and he was, I don't know, 205 pounds or something and now he's 235. But uh, to teach him from nine man football uh, to 11 man and just it's that whole deal, you know, and then even Brock Robbins, you know, he was nine man and it's pretty neat, you know, and, and myself and uh, the challenges that those guys probably had and the, the dreams and the goals that they had. I'm going to go be a Division One football player, you know, and, you know, me growing up, I'm going to go be a Division One football player and I'm going to be running back for the Bison and people go, no, you're not. Well, okay, watch. I think those kids have the same chip on their shoulder that you know, just day in and day out, we're going to go get the job done. Um, so I, I, you know, I take pride in that. And the group as a whole is really neat. You know, I think, um, you know, we, we go out there with a, you know, a workmanship mentality. You know, our, our objectives are to be the most physical uh, group, tight end group in the nation. Uh, and then when, it, when we have the opportunity in the passing game, we need to be explosive. And that showed up on film. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun group to have. We're, we're getting a lot of production. Um, would we like to see more? Sure. You know, I think uh, there's still more things we can do as a group to, to help the offense in all phases. Um, but you know what, our, our goal is, hey, better today than yesterday, better uh, tomorrow than today. So we're just going to keep working and, and, and not get comfortable, uh, stay humble, and, and just keep working uh, t to improve constantly. And you got a lot of kids that you could play there too, which is a nice luxury. Not yeah, a lot of teams have a lot of depth, which is really good. Um, one thing that you're also responsible for is organizing camps. But the, the unique part to me is you're also the pro scout liaison. People don't realize all the different hats assistant coaches have to wear. What does that entail, being a pro scout liaison? 
you know, that's, that's actually pretty neat, especially with my first year doing it and having uh, all the scouts in for Carson. So, you know, and there was GMs and there was, there was a lot of people that were in. Uh, but, you know, the, the biggest thing when they come in, uh, they're going to want a background check, information, getting to know uh, the player that they are, they're asking about. And so, I, you know, I think the biggest thing you need to do is just be up front and um, just tell them the truth. And, you know, a good thing for me is we've got a lot of great players, you know, and great kids. So, um, you know, just do a background check and, you know, get them set up with watching film, you know, and uh, they want to do their due diligence watching the film at our facility. And then they uh, usually want to come out and watch a practice and just see them move around in person. So, um, you know, th that's, uh, you know, a chunk out of my day that, you know, is taken away from, from football, but it's also helping our players. So, um, you know, I, I take pride in that, and it's been fun getting to know a lot of the, the scouts and uh, personnel from the NFL as well. Whoever would have thought we'd need a pro scout liaison in NDSU. It's such a big deal now. Right. It's hard to and, believe that. And it's not just asking about one player anymore. You know, where they're asking about, you know, five, six, seven. So, you know, there's a lot of interest. And every year that I've done it, every single team has been in every season. So, um, yeah, it just speaks about our program and the championship culture that we have. I know you don't have a crystal ball, Tyler, but I'm guessing any coach has some professional aspirations. For you, does that ever entail being an offensive coordinator or maybe someday being a, becoming a head coach? Yeah, I think the natural progression would be uh, being an offensive coordinator. Um, you know, and with, with uh, me being at NDSU and playing the position and, um, you know, having a good part in the game planning and what have you. I just, whether it's at NDSU where I'd love to be for a really long time, uh, I think that'd be the natural progression. Um, so you, you take that and if you, you're able to do that for a few years and then be a, be a head coach a, at a program, I, you know, like you said, there is no crystal ball, but um, you know, I, I just see myself in the, in the profession and um, you know, just my biggest goal is to continue to make an impact every single day. Well, it fits you. You still look like you could play, too, I which wish, I really yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, thanks so much for the time, and uh, best wishes to you here the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. It. That is Tyler Roll, the fullbacks and tight ends coach here at North Dakota State. Kelly, back to you. All right. Thanks, Brian. When we come back, Tom Neiman and Bishan have their own little Dakota marker battle with horrible jokes. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned.